Top 10 Places to Visit in the World To make your life simpler and to help you plan your holiday seamlessly, here is the list of top 10 amazing places to visit in the world. First, you can visit Paris. The Eiffel Tower is a wrought iron lattice tower. The Palais Garnier, also known as Opera Garnier, or the Louvre Museum, is a national art museum in Paris. Sacré-Cœur is a Roman Catholic church and minor basilica in Paris. The Jardin du Luxembourg known in English as the Luxembourg Garden. Garden of the Surveils is a beautiful garden that you can visit in Paris. Seine River is a 777-kilometer long river in northern France. Its drainage basin is in the Paris Basin covering most of northern France. The second, you can visit Rome. In Rome, you can easily get typical Italian food. In Rome you can visit Piazza Navona as a public open space in Rome, Italy. It is built on the site of the Stadium of Domitian, and follows the form of the open space of the stadium. In Rome you can visit Trevi Fountain. The Trevi Fountain is an 18th century fountain in the Trevi district in Rome, Italy. It is the largest Baroque fountain in the city and one of the most famous fountains in the world. Castel Sant'Angelo, structure in Rome, Italy, that was originally the mausoleum of the Roman Emperor Hadrian and converted into a fortress in the 5th century. In Rome you can visit the Colosseum as an elliptical amphitheater in the center of the city of Rome, Italy, just east of the Roman Forum. It is the largest ancient amphitheater ever built. In Rome you can visit Tiber River. The Tiber is the third longest river in Italy and the longest in central Italy, rising in the Apennine Mountains in Emilia-Romagna and flowing 406 kilometers. In Rome you can visit St. Peter's Basilica. The 2,000-year-old basilica is home to most of the Catholic Church's crucial ceremonies and is a classic symbol of the Vatican City. St. Peter's Square is a large plaza located directly in front of St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City, the papal enclave in Rome, directly west of the neighborhood of Borgo. In Rome you can visit Centro Storico as the first urban zone of Rome, identified by the initials 1A. It belongs to the Municipio I and it includes the main part of the city. In Rome you can visit the Spanish Steps, climb a steep slope between the Piazza di Spagna at the base and Piazza Trinita dei Monti, dominated by the Trinita dei Monti Church, at the top. In Rome you can visit Trastevere as the 13th Rione of Rome, it is identified by the initials R13 and it is located within Municipio. In Rome you can visit the Vatican Museums, or the public museums of Vatican City. They display works from the immense collection amassed by the Catholic Church and the Papacy throughout the centuries, including several of the most well-known Roman sculptures and most important masterpieces of Renaissance art in the world. In Rome you can visit Altar of the Fatherland, the Vatican Museums, or the public museums of Vatican City. They display works from the immense collection amassed by the Catholic Church and the Papacy throughout the centuries, including several of the most well-known Roman sculptures and most important masterpieces of Renaissance art in the world. In Rome you can visit Piazza del Popolo as a large urban square in Rome. The name in modern Italian literally means, People's Square, but historically it derives from the poplars after which the Church of Santa Maria del Popolo, in the northeast corner of the piazza, takes its name. In modern historiography, ancient Rome refers to Roman civilization from the founding of the Italian city of Rome in the 8th century BC to the collapse of the Western Roman Empire in the 5th century AD. In third place is Switzerland. In Switzerland you can visit Grindelwald, a village in Switzerland's Bernese Alps, is a popular gateway for the Jungfrau region, with skiing in winter and hiking in summer. It's also a base for mountain climbing ascents up the iconic north face of Eiger Mountain. In Switzerland you can visit the Harderkulm as a funicular station at 1,322 meters 4 in the Berner Oberland region of Switzerland, overlooking the towns of Interlaken and Untersee. It is located at the western end of the Harder, which in itself is the most western, 
forested ridge of the about 30 kilometers 19 miles long, prominent mountain range dominating the north shore of the Lake of Brienz. In Switzerland you can visit Silser Sea or Lake Sils as a lake in the upper Engadine Valley, Grisons, Switzerland. It takes its name from the village of Sils Engadine. In Switzerland you can visit the Bernina Pass as a high mountain pass in the Bernina Range of the Alps, in the canton of Graubunden in eastern Switzerland. It connects the famous resort town of St. Moritz in the Engadine Valley with the Italian-speaking Val Pasciavo, which ends in the Italian town of Toronto in Valtellina. In Switzerland you can visit the Brusio Spiral Viaduct as a single-track nine-arched stone spiral railway viaduct on the Bernina Railway. It was opened on 1 July 1908. In Switzerland you can visit the Valle Verzasca as a valley in the Locarno district of the canton of Ticino, Switzerland. It comprises the municipalities of Mergascia, Voborno, Corippo, Lavertezzo, Brione, Gera, Frosco, and Sonigno. In Switzerland you can visit the city of Zurich, a global center for banking and finance, lies at the north end of Lake Zurich in northern Switzerland. In Switzerland you can visit Limmern Sea as a reservoir in the canton of Glarus, Switzerland, between the peaks of Muttenschaf, Selbzamft and Kissenstockli. It may be reached by aerial tramway or by foot from Linthal. In Swiss you can visit Stuz, is a village located in the municipality of Morschach. It lies at 1,300 meters in the Swiss canton of Schwiz and has about 100 inhabitants. It is used as a small ski resort with a cable car leading to the Fraunhalbstock. The village is car-free and is accessible via the Stusbahn Funicular Railway. In Switzerland you can visit the Klingenstock, is a mountain of the Schweizer Alps, located between Stuz and Riemenstalden in the canton of Schwiz. In Switzerland you can visit Chaserug as a mountain in Wildhaus Alt Street. Johann Municipality, Toggenberg, Canton of St. Gallen, Switzerland, rising to 2,262 meters. It is the easternmost of the seven peaks of the Cherfersten, the other six being, running east to west, Hinterrug, Schiebenstol, Zustol, Brissi, Frumsel, Selen. In Switzerland you can visit Cherfersten, is a mountain range in the canton of St. Gallen, Switzerland. They form the natural boundary between the cantons Toggenberg and Sarganserland districts. In Switzerland you can visit the Wallen Sea, also known as Lake Wallen is one of the larger lakes in Switzerland with about two-thirds of its area in the canton of St. Gallen and about one-third in the canton of Glarus. Other towns and villages at the lake include Wiesen, Quinton, Corden, and Merg. Number 4, is London. In London you can visit the London Eye, or the Millennium Wheel, is a cantilevered observation wheel on the south bank of the River Thames in London. It is Europe's tallest cantilevered observation wheel and the most popular paid tourist attraction in the United Kingdom with over 3 million visitors annually. It has made many appearances in popular culture. In London you can visit London Zoo, previously known as ZSL London Zoo or London Zoological Gardens and sometimes called Regent's Park Zoo, is the world's oldest scientific zoo. It was opened in London on the 27th of April 1828 and was originally intended to be used as a collection for scientific study. In 1831 or 1832, the animals of the Tower of London Menagerie were transferred to the zoo's collection. It was opened to the public in 1847. 7. As of December 2022, it houses a collection of 14,926 individuals, making it one of the largest collections in the United Kingdom. In London you can visit Tower Bridge, is a Grade 1 listed combined bascule and suspension bridge in London, built between 1886 and 1894, designed by Horace Jones and engineered by John Wolfe Barry with the help of Henry Mark Bruno. In London you can visit Big Ben as the nickname for the Great Bell of the Great Clock of Westminster, at the north end of the Palace of Westminster in London, England, and the name is frequently extended to refer also to the clock and the clock tower. The official name of the tower in which Big Ben is located was originally the Clock Tower, but it was renamed Elizabeth Tower in 2012 to mark the Diamond Jubilee of Elizabeth II. 
In London you can visit Kew Palace as a British royal palace within the grounds of Kew Gardens on the banks of the River Thames. Originally a large complex, few elements of it survive, dating to 1631 but built atop the undercroft of an earlier building, the main survivor is known as the Dutch House. In London, you can visit the Shard, also referred to as the Shard London Bridge and formerly London Bridge Tower, is a 72-story skyscraper, designed by the Italian architect Renzo Piano, in Southwark, London, that forms part of the Shard Quarter development. In London, you can visit St. Paul's Cathedral as an Anglican cathedral in London, England, and is the seat of the Bishop of London. The cathedral serves as the mother church of the Diocese of London. In London, you can visit the Sea Life London Aquarium as located on the ground floor of County Hall on the south bank of the River Thames in central London, near the London Eye. It opened in March 1997 as the London Aquarium and hosts about 1 million visitors each year. In London you can enjoy Thames Circular Cruise There are many tour company providing sightseeing cruises on the River Thames in London. Thames River Services operate on the Thames under license from London River Services. In London you can visit the Tower of London, officially His Majesty's Royal Palace and Fortress of the Tower of London, is a historic castle on the north bank of the River Thames. In the fifth position is South Island. In South Island you can visit Aoraki, or Moon Cook, is the highest mountain in New Zealand. Its height, as of 2014, is listed as 3,724 meters. It sits in the Southern Alps, the mountain range that runs the length of the South Island. A popular tourist destination, it is also a favorite challenge for mountain climbers. In South Island you can visit Castle Point, is a small beachside settlement on the Wairarapa coast of the Wellington region of New Zealand. It is home to a lighthouse which stands near the top of the northern end of a reef. The reef is about one kilometer long. At the southern end of the reef, there is an island known locally as Seagull Island, due to its large population of seagulls. The southern side of Castle Rock is known as Christmas Bay. Castle Point is approximately one hour's drive from Masterton. In South Island you can visit Milford Sound, is a fjord in the southwest of New Zealand's South Island. It's known for towering Mitre Peak, plus rainforests and waterfalls like Stirling and Bowen Falls, which plummet down its sheer sides. The fjord is home to fur seal colonies, penguins and dolphins. Milford Discovery Center and Underwater Observatory offers views of rare black coral and other marine life. Boat tours are a popular way to explore. In South Island you can visit Wellington, the capital of New Zealand, sits near the North Island's southernmost point on the Cook Strait. A compact city, it encompasses a waterfront promenade, sandy beaches, a working harbour and colourful timber houses on surrounding hills. From Lambton Quay, the iconic red Wellington cable car heads to the Wellington Botanic Gardens. Strong winds through the Cook Strait give it the nickname, Windy Wellington. In South Island you can visit the Bay of Islands, is an area on the east coast of the far north district of the North Island of New Zealand. It is one of the most popular fishing, sailing and tourist destinations in the country, and has been renowned internationally for its big game fishing since American author Zane Grey publicized it in the 1930s. It is 60 kilometers 37 miles northwest of the city of Fongaray. Cape Reinga, at the northern tip of the country, is about 210 kilometers 130 miles by road further to the North Week. In South Island you can visit the Karamandal Peninsula on the North Island of New Zealand extends 85 kilometers north from the western end of the Bay of Plenty, forming a natural barrier protecting the Hauraki Gulf and the Firth of Thames in the west from the Pacific Ocean to the east. It is 40 kilometers wide at its broadest point. In South Island you can visit the Hobbiton movie set as a significant location used for the Lord of the Rings film trilogy and the Hobbit film trilogy, serving as a stand-in for the town of Hobbiton in the Shire in both trilogies. In South Island you can visit Piha as a coastal settlement in West Auckland, on the western coast of the Auckland region in New Zealand. 
It is one of the most popular beaches in the area and a major day trip destination for Aucklanders throughout the year, and especially in summer. In South Island you can visit Rotorua, a town set on its namesake lake on New Zealand's North Island, is renowned for its geothermal activity and Maori culture. In Te Pui's Whakariwariwa Valley, there are bubbling mud pools and the 30 meters tall Pohutu geyser, which erupts many times daily. It's also home to a living Maori village and the New Zealand Maori Arts and Crafts Institute, with traditional wood carving and weaving schools. In South Island you can visit Lake Wanaka, is New Zealand's fourth largest lake and the seat of the town of Wanaka in the Otago region. The lake is 278 meters above sea level, covers 192 square kilometers and is more than 300 meters deep. Number 6. Grand Canyon. In Grand Canyon you can visit West Rim Grand Canyon, Awe-inspiring Grand Canyon experiences don't get any better from the Hualapai tribe's Grand Canyon West Rim. Walk the glass panels on the skywalk. Soar over the canyon in a helicopter or on a zipline. Float down the Colorado River on a river tour. Take in the epic views at Guano Point and Eagle Point. You can even stay right on site in comfy cabins at the cabins at Grand Canyon West. Discover the many different perspectives of this natural wonder, conveniently located near Las Vegas, Laughlin, and Lake Havasu. Grand Canyon's West Rim is the location of Eagle Point. This natural rock formation sits on the private land of the Hualapai Reservation. Created by nature, rather than man, these sacred rocks are shaped like an eagle spreading its wings and has a rich history to match. The Grand Canyon Skywalk is a horseshoe-shaped cantilever bridge with a glass walkway at Eagle Point in Arizona near the Colorado River, on the edge of a side canyon in the Grand Canyon West area of the main canyon. The Hualapai Village is an exceptionally large region situated in the western region of the Grand Canyon. If you are planning a visit to the area and have a true passion for nature, history, and cultures, you absolutely should schedule some time in and around this amazing area. Here, you will embark on a journey over lands that are relatively rough and fascinatingly rugged. Guano Point is a pyramid point made of rock, with nearly 360-degree views of the Grand Canyon and the Colorado River. It's reachable via High Point Hike, which has slightly rough terrain, so make sure you wear good shoes, no flip-flops or high heels, but offers views that are certainly worth the walk. You'll also see the remnants of a historic tram that once stretched 8,800 feet across the canyon to a guano mine. Touring the Grand Canyon using a helicopter is a very enjoyable experience, because you can see the entire view from above, can explore areas that cannot be reached from land. Number 7. Singapore. In Singapore you can visit gardens by the bay, beyond the flora and fauna that you'll find here, admire the garden's iconic structures, architectural marvels that reimagine nature with artistic finesse. In Singapore you can visit OCBC Skyway, enjoy the most enthralling views on the OCBC Skyway. Suspended between two super trees at 22 meters above ground, this 128 meters long aerial walkway offers marvelous opportunities to capture that postcard-worthy shot of the garden's lush surrounds, set in the heart of downtown Marina Bay. In Singapore you can visit Supertree Observatory, located at the tallest Supertree's canopy, offers unparalleled views of gardens by the bay's lush surrounds and the Marina Bay area. In Singapore you can visit Cloud Forest, with its iconic vision of waterfalls, spiraling walkways and a unique architectural glass greenhouse, Avatar. The experience invites guests to connect with the alien world of Pandora, its bioluminescent environments, mystical creatures, flora, and the captivating culture of its indigenous people. In Singapore, step into the Flower Dome, and you'll be standing in awe of nature. Spectacular and innovative in design, it is one of the icons of Bay South. In Singapore, you can visit Marina Bay walking. Early mornings or late afternoons are a good time to enjoy this walk to avoid the heat of the day. Sunset is also a beautiful time to explore the marina. Number 8. Sydney. In Sydney you can visit the Sydney Opera House, is a multi-venue performing arts center in Sydney, Australia. Located on the foreshore of Sydney Harbour, it is widely regarded as one of the world's most famous and distinctive buildings and a masterpiece of 20th-century architecture. 
In Sydney you can visit the Sydney Harbour Bridge as a steel through arch bridge in Sydney, spanning Sydney Harbour from the Central Business District CBD, to the North Shore. In Sydney you can use Manly Ferry Services operate on Sydney Harbour connecting the Sydney suburb of Manly with Circular Quay in the CBD a journey of 7 nautical miles. In Sydney you can visit Paddy's Market. Paddy's has held a central place in Sydney's history for over 150 years. Paddy's Markets, Sydney's biggest markets have a wide variety of stalls, food, fashion, gifts and gadgets in a true market. In Sydney you can visit Bondi Beach is a popular beach in the name of the surrounding suburb in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Bondi Beach is located 7 kilometers 4 miles east of the Sydney Central Business District, in the local government area of Waverley Council, in the eastern suburbs. In Sydney you can visit Bondi Icebergs Pool. When you think about Sydney and its famous Bondi Beach, there is often one image that comes to mind, the famous Bondi Icebergs Pool. Indeed, there are probably no other pools in the world that are as photographed as this one. There are plenty of gorgeous beaches and open rock pools in Sydney but nothing more iconic than this one. In Sydney, you can visit Circular Quay, is a harbour, former working port and now international passenger shipping port, public piazza and tourism precinct, heritage area, and transport node located in Sydney, New South Wales. In Sydney, you can visit Luna Park, is Sydney's most iconic amusement park and tourist destination. Discover the latest rides, attractions, events and family fun under the Sydney sun. In Sydney, you can visit Guatemala, also known as Guatemala Beach, is a cove, lagoon, and beach on the New South Wales coast south of Sydney, within the Royal National Park. The Australian Museum is a heritage-listed museum at 1 William Street, Sydney Central Business District, New South Wales, Australia. Number 9, New York. In New York, you can visit Times Square, is a major commercial intersection, tourist destination, entertainment hub, and neighborhood in Midtown Manhattan, New York City, United States. In New York, you can visit World Trade Center. The original World Trade Center WTC, was a large complex of seven buildings in the financial district of Lower Manhattan in New York City. It opened on April 4, 1973, and was destroyed during the September 11 terrorist attacks in 2001. In New York, you can visit parks. The city has 28,000 acres 113 square kilometers, of municipal parkland and 14 miles 22 kilometers, of public municipal beaches. Major municipal parks include Central Park, Prospect Park, Flushing Meadows Corona Park, and Forest Park. The largest is Pelham Bay Park, followed by the Staten Island Greenbelt and Van Cortlandt Park. There are also many smaller but historically significant parks in New York City, such as Battery Park, Bryant Park, Madison Square Park, Union Square Park, and Washington Square Park. In New York City, you can visit iconic buildings, which are lined up in New York City. Number 10, Dubai. In Dubai, you can visit Address Sky View. As its name suggests, Address Sky View offers breathtaking panoramic views of Dubai's skyline. Located in downtown Dubai and featuring two gleaming, majestic towers joined by the architecturally impressive Sky Bridge, this Look Twice property is the ideal place from which to explore both old and new. In Dubai, you can visit Green Planet is an indoor zoo and garden in the city walk area of Dubai, United Arab Emirates. It has over 3,000 plants and animals in its artificial, bio-dome, tropical rainforest including birds, reptiles, and fish. They are kept in open environments, but may not be touched. In Dubai, you can use Helicopter Tour Dubai, is the region's premier helicopter services company. When you book a ticket with Heli Dubai, you get more than just a helicopter ride in Dubai a world-class experience. Make wonderful memories and embark on an unforgettable experience. Heli Dubai offers a variety of helicopter ride in Dubai with various package options. Every package provides you with a unique adventure. In Dubai, you can visit the island. Located in Dubai's iconic World Islands development, the island is the first development to open its doors to the public. 
with a choice of two beaches, along with a swimming pool, on-site beach volleyball court and Dubai's hottest dining hotspot, the island accommodates all comers. In Dubai, you can visit Infinity Day Lumieres, is the largest digital art center in the Middle East, occupying a space of 2,700 square meters 29,000 square feet, and being equipped with 130 projectors, 58 speakers, and 3,000 high-definition images, all pieced together in a digital masterpiece. The museum also offers a variety of events, including school field trips and private events. Global Village started out in the form of a number of kiosks in January 1997 located on the creek side opposite to Dubai Municipality. It then later shifted to the Oud Metha area near Wafi City for five years. Today, Global Village has 6 million visitors at its current location on exit of Sheikh Zayed Exit 37 in Wadi Al Safa 4. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment for the next video you want to see.